This is not necessary. Darkness before dawn. Sit this one out just as once. Wish. Choke on this. Darkness before dawn. on this. Darkness before dawn.
This is the moment you realize you've made a mistake. Darkness before dawn. Enjoy this, nor will you.
crystal taking root in a human body? Is it dangerous? No one can say at this point. It stopped growing after it fused with his nervous and circulatory systems. Meaning we would have killed him if we had continued the extraction. Yes, but that's not the worst. When you brought Darien to me, he was suffering from heavy blood loss. Blood loss? But there's no wound. Did the crystal do this? It's the crystal, all right. I've seen it do much worse to other people. Darien, you shouldn't be up. Now, now, sleeping? That's your thing, Selene. You shouldn't even be moving until we find out what happened to you. Don't worry. I figured it out already. It'll stay put as long as I don't poke at it. How do you know that? This crystal in my chest? It only awakens if someone asks something from it. This is what happened in Alfara, too. I remember it now. Which means I'm safe. As long as I don't ask it to pull any destructive shenanigans. Yes, but... And I'm pretty sure we'll eventually find a way to get it out of me. Right, Tyrannus? I'm... not sure we can. <laughs> Come on, that's your thing here, entire Caleb. Making impossible things happen. You'll find a way, I'm sure. Right. Anyway, we have work to do. There are still a lot of people back there, and they need our help. Yasaurus and I have been talking, and he seems to have come up with a pretty good plan. Yes, I know. I've come up with one of my own, too. So you've already met Thea, right? Yes, it was uh, quite surprising, actually. Are you talking about her appearance? Uh, no, uh, she just started blurting out apologies for what happened in the Vanguard. I know. She's learning. Making steady progress. Hey, remember, it's an Archolite machine we're talking about. When did you decide it was a good idea to give it a body? <laughs> she told me you fell off your bed the first time you saw her and crawled along the ground trying to find one of Tyrannus' scalpels. Oh, that blabbermouth. That blabbermouth saved your life. Along with Yasaurus and Fallon. I guess they're more loyal than I thought. Yes. And they're waiting for us. Go ahead. I'll gather my stuff and catch up with you. Okay. We'll be waiting for you. Look who finally showed up. Our miracle recovery. The man who fell from the 25th story and he's still here to tell the tale. Hey, guys. So... Now that we're all together, it's time we spoke about our next move. Darian, tell us about what you saw in the tower. There are a lot of people inside. Dozens. Oberos throws half of them into some kind of furnace at the top of the building. The rest go... somewhere else. Sil couldn't tell me any more than that. Who's Sil? Sil's, uh, an old squad mate from the Consort Army. She's one of the captives. I must save her. I will save her. Hmm. Well, I'll take it from here. While imprisoned, our wobbly friend here noticed something interesting. His jailer, who goes by the frightening name Oberos, seems to have a weak point. Thanks to yours truly and his flamboyant performance in combat, our double-faced friend has received a mortal chest wound. A wound that will be difficult to heal even with his extraordinary healing powers. Blah, 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 get to the point. Oberos has a weakness, and it's the corrosion. The corrosion? How are we supposed to use the corrosion against him? Oh, you find people will simply have to do it the same way I do. And how is that? Using tempered, corroded metal. Corroded? You've been transporting and using corroded weapons? Don't pass me off as a madman just yet. If you burn corroded tissue, the contaminated matter burns off and you're left with a completely inoffensive, scary-looking alloy. Once I've extracted the metal from the flesh, I'll forge each of you a 100% safe corroded weapon. Or for you, Fallon, bullets. Yuck. How can we be sure they will be safe? 
How can we be sure we won't be spreading sickness by forging such things? Corroded metal is safe. You just have to trust me on this. Like you did when you crossed the clockwork field. But we need to go to another corroded field. Uh, the one near the Scorched Halcyon has precisely the kind of corroded alloys I need. Are you sure we'll be a match for Oberos with these corroded weapons? That's our best bet. No need to craft one for me. I won't use it anyway. Then what will you do? Last I heard, Oberos was impervious to your attacks. I guess I'll just have to take the gloves off then. Are you kidding, or...? But I need Alpharius for that. Besides, I need to ask him about Oberos. He knows too much about me. And that was even before he assumed my form. He also said he was the last of the god's servants. And to be honest, that worries me a bit. Hey, he was pretty intense. I'm not sure you should take him too seriously. Anyhow, we have to learn more about him. And Alpharius is the person who might be able to answer our questions. So, here's what we do. Go to the clockwork field near the Scorched Halcyon, and then visit Alpharius. We have to do both things before we confront Oberos. And... Darian, I took the liberty of sending a letter to your old commander. Did he answer? No. Hey, by the way, I've got a plan too. What if we take my airship, and fly away to Avaris, and leave this mess to someone else? Like Commander Korik, for example. Korik's not the kind to go back on his word, for better or worse. It's hard to admit, but I can't risk getting expelled from the Sanctorium. And I have to rescue Syl. I'll just tag along wherever these two dummies decide to go. Well, I'm completely lost in a world I understand nothing about. And I have to follow your orders. So? Anyway, the lives of dozens, if not hundreds of people, is at stake. Whatever the doppelganger is doing, he must be stopped. Then, let's get to it, everyone! Hey, we save a lot of lives these days, don't we? I guess we do. Does that mean we've become some kind of <gasps> heroes? Ugh, can't you just shut up, Isaurus? You're making me nauseous. Sorry, Fallon. Whether you like it or not, I've got you stuck playing the role of heroine. I knew you were trouble.
Huh. Altharius has left another of his flowers. Oh, this is going to be a real treat. Brace yourselves, guys. As if anything could surprise me anymore. Hey, we're looking for Altharius. The old man, huh? What's the password? Hey, this thing is talking! Like many other non-human things. Alpharius never said anything about a password. Well, now there is a password. I won't tell you where to find Alpharius until I hear it. Wait, is this the moment that you tell us we have to trek halfway across the continent to find a series of clues that just might help us figure out the password? Otherwise, we should just give up hope of ever finding Alpharius? Huh? Is that it? Because if, if that's the case, I want nothing to do with it. I'm out of here. I'm done. Done with these stupid errands. Got no time for this. <sighs> hmm? Your friend's gone. Darian is not a friend. He's my brother. Alpharius never told me anything about Darlene having a brother. I am Celine. Okay, he's making a fool of us. How about adding some lead fertilizer to the soil? I'll get it to talk. Don't worry. Can't you show him Alpharius' seal or a letter or something? Wow! And who's this genius? Another of Celine's brothers? Are you multiplying or something? Show him the letter, duh! Can't you see I've got no eyes, you twit? But you can talk. Why wouldn't you be able to see? You humans get so fixated on this. Okay, this isn't getting us anywhere. I just need the password, okay? There's no password. Is that your final word? It is. Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure there was a password. There probably was at some point, but I think Gilfarius decided to do without, and ultimately changed his mind, and then again, and I lost track somewhere. So now there is no password? <laughs> See? I'm not sure. Listen, why don't you just throw around some words you think would make sense to Alvarez? Maybe it'll come back to me. Flower! Oh. No. Just try any word, Darlene. Help me! No. Alvarez told me you were stubborn, so it makes sense. Maybe I should just tell you where he is. Yes. But then again... Has it started talking yet? No! See, if I tell you where he is, and he knows it, I'll be in for the whooping of my life. Listen, fellow non-human, if you tell us where we can find Selene's mentor, we will go and ask him ourselves if he is okay with you telling us where he is. Simple, logical fallacy trap. Get out of here, that'll never work. Huh, actually, sounds good. You'll find him waiting on the south slope of Mount Barrenroth. What? I guess sometimes trying now is better than crying later. Thank you, Thea. At your service. Though with reluctance. Mount Barrenroth. Has he found it? He most definitely has. Hell yeah!